Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the breakfast show. I'm your host, Martin Wong. Now, in this morning trading idea with Smart Roby, we have seen the market has reacted over to the news that we have seen uh, both in the KLSC as well as the US market. Now, tonight, do take note, tonight is a public holiday in the US market as we head into last, uh, today is the 4th of July in US due to the, the time difference in here. But in Malaysia, it becomes a trading day. That's right. Now, let's take a look at what we have for you this morning as not so good news still continue to hop the limelight of the galaxy and we have for you this morning in here let's take a look at it and we are in the trading idea with smart roby definitely we will be looking at that's right first of all uh a collaboration with uh smart roby with rakuten that the smart roby and raku million in here so any users who sign up with rakuten may win a 50 ringgit brokerage voucher in here and that's a promotional code in there and that will be uh the promotion that we're doing for this month of july so check it out in there and also you can go over to our uh our website at tradevsa.com and find out more information on the rakuten trade promotion that we're doing with smart roby all right now first thing first uh do this morning the breakfast show we'll be looking at the pentagon guider uh, some of the trades uh, set up that we have for you and also some of the stocks we will look at it from last week definitely the Malaysian morning uh, headline roundup is as follows that's right now as much as I just started off with the morning saying that the market continue to be very cautious of the news that we have the Prime Minister uh, health conditions starting to emerge as the market is processing of this let's take a look at where the market is this morning in here and uh, let's look at the KLCI switching to a wider chart here so you can see uh, this morning our market is down 6 point 15 uh, as I said before if you look back on the wider chart in here as soon as the market broke through that red pentagon right that red pentagon seems to be that level and also the 15.6 level in here market continue to go down and a lot of analysts now trying to uh, paint a very positive story in here talking about the you know the lockdown extension and as I advice to a lot of investors is to has a realistic mindset that's right anything that uh, usually we all know right uh, mostly when the market is down like this when you see on the uh, right hand side of the screen any yellow trend zone if you are trading long you are trading against trend so the likelihood of the trade will not work out is going to be there so so do take note you want to trade with the trend and not trade just simply of that because you want to have a high win rate especially those of you who are beginner and coming doing this uh, you need to be very very careful uh, what you want to do you can do paper trading but do wait until the market turn back the uh, uh, so-called green pentagon or the blue trend zone before you go in so pretty much on this the news that you see here continue to be very very uh, negative the sentiment in here a lot of guidance people are talking about going forward where the 1760 1560 uh, I, I believe going forward a lot of the analysts will continue to revise downwards on a lot of these uh, stocks that we've seen here uh, even the uh, the number of participation on the KLSC continue to come down a fair bit. Uh, we have seen the foreign funds continue to go. So where are the investors are going? As many of you who are within the uh, the KLSC, a lot of them just just focus focus on the KLSC. But if you are in the period where we have long period of uh, market moving sideways, that's point I've talked about last Saturday. Remember, for those of you who came to our last Saturday talk in our uh, part one the value in modern value investing for beginners that's great because we have part two uh, this coming saturday for our zoom session in here so that's something that we want to impact over the knowledge that we have regarding to the market that someday you can learn about the overall market and as well as to do the market timing with uh, smart roby in here so all in all let's go on to our next news now next news is on interest rate that's right now the uh bank nagara which will talk about the interest rate uh, this coming weekend and uh, because of the extension of lockdown and many monitoring and also the news that you hear on social media with the white flag so i don't think uh, there will be any interest rate rise going forward interest rate cut 
I also don't expect it to because a lower interest rate may also dampen many of our savers in Malaysia who continue to save a lot of money and putting into fixed deposit. If they're going to cut interest rate, that's going to hamper them. And you will also see the banking stocks will also take a hit for that one. The banking stocks uh, has never been uh, a great fan of uh, low, uh, lower interest rate or interest rate being cut down. If they do, they're going to get hammered and that's what we're going to be seeing in here. So the research house just saying that uh, inflation has lost steam. So a lot of uh, analysts and also economists are trying to paint uh, a picture. Just hold on to your horses. If you don't need to trade, don't trade and you know stay out of the market. As I said before, you can see this uh, uh, yellow trend zone that you see above here. That tells you a lot where the market is heading. And usually, we depending on Guider, right, on Smart Roby, you'll be forewarned. Of course, we can also look at the other exchange market that we're talking to. All right. Next news is the uh, positive. Now, after the negative news, where is the recovery? Is the Malaysian economy uh, going to be slightly to slow down? Uh, global demand for electronics continue to be up. But because of the lockdown that we see in some states, that is for the slang or state will be impacted. Uh, that's going to be have some sort of a trade, uh, trade deficit coming in here. So this report by the Social Economic Research Center talks about the likelihood of the trade surplus continued to be remain substantial for year 2021. After all, 2020 was a very bad year, around 208 billion. The renewed lockdown in June and July uh, will impact 60% of the manpower capacity in many uh, manufacturing and plantation in here. The sooner that we get out from the uh, uh, lockdown, it's better. Now, two things is really impacting what why we see the market is negative to the end, likely to continue to go downwards, is the uh, so-called uh, the extension of the lockdown and also the, the political situation should the parliament opening. It's very, very liquid uh, whether the parliament will convene before the 1st of August, which is only uh, less than three weeks and Anyway, uh, so the sooner that they convene, then you will see another big tussle in here. So once all this uh, uncertainty be addressed, as I said before, watch the market. When the green pentagon comes, that's the one that you want to be in. And uh, it will come very, very soon. So once they're able to address the political uncertainty that we see in this market in here, then we will see the market will uh, likely to rally out. But right now, as you can say before, trends are merging down. And do take note, especially don't try to average down. As much as it is, it is a suicidal uh, approach in here. But having said that, uh, I think coming into the fourth quarter, as mentioned by this economist, Mr. Lee, in here, the recovery will come in fourth quarter, which usually starts in uh, October. All right, October. So uh, if you don't, come back in October. Okay, let's take a look at the next story that we have for you is another small cap company, TCS, which uh, in Smart Roby idea, it's a very good stock, you can see, but liquidity remain to be an issue. Let's take a look at the stock fundamental in here. Uh, now, we all know the economy uh, currently slowing down. So a lot of these infrastructures uh, will tend to be slowed down. And do take note, our, com our country had dished out 530 billion uh, on, uh, on all the COVID pandemic things and not accounting the vaccine purchase. So they were likely to cut back on some of the infrastructure project. And that's why many of the construction uh, sectors continue to just move sideways, although they will revive back for the infrastructure projects. I think that's something which is a must. Uh, so you can see in here, TCS, uh, PE of 11 times, uh, uh, with the ROE of 17. So that's pretty good compared to uh, with the dividend of 4% being a, a so this company TCS with the uh, with Dato T in here certainly uh, was listed only in the ACE market 2020 and uh, they are going for a lot of infrastructure. So being uh, partly uh, just listed this year, they are very, very favorable to uh, investor. That is why they are paying a very handsome 4%, 4%, I take note of it, 4% dividend in, in there. Uh, let's take a look at the chart wise. Uh, chart wise is still sort of pending on in here. You could see uh, this market 
has a green pentagon. It's not going to be you know lifting up like what we saw earlier on for those export-based uh, electrical and electronic sectors, which we'll go on next. But this one, uh, still no green pentagon, as you can see, still in the uh, also falling in the line with the KLCI overall yellow trend zone in here. Okay, so um, how likely is this going to move up? But if you want to get TCS likelihood, it's going to be more of the dividend play all right dividend but take note that this company is a very small cap it's only 167 million in here so liquidity may be an issue too all right liquidity will be an issue in here let's move on to our next story that we have for you is uh server dynamic that's right now server dynamic continue to honk the headlines in here just more of an update as part of the case study some of you may want to know uh server dynamic has appointed ev to do the review in here and my take is that the most most of the uh, modus operandi by auditors are very very similar unless there are new evidence or new accounting thing now some of this audit were already done in the past so i do take note uh, that the likelihood that ey coming out with the same result as kpmg will be very very similar unless there are new evidence or new uh, accounting details that which was missed out by kpmg uh, then ey will arrive at the same outcome and, uh, and I don't really know how much of an influence can the management make on the EY in here. So perhaps this is just more of buying time uh, to allow the market to settle. So let's take a look at Server Dynamic continue to recover in here and do take note any rumor okay any rumor it's time to buy but at the same time you do see climatic changes right you may want to exit too okay uh, because the story is not at yen with server dynamic now we can see in here uh, last week the stocks has made a very nice pushback up to the around 50 uh, 50 over cents and this morning let's look at server dynamic last search was about up about five percent and this morning is Okay, while we're waiting, yep, it's up 9%, that's right, to 42 cents. So a lot of this news are running on the uh, appointment of the EY. Of course, many of you who want to trade in, you need to trade on the bad news. Good news like this, you want to take profit, okay? And I know some of you are very tentative, you want to jump in, in here. That's still continue to be good, but going forward, look at the price action because some of these news may come as a surprise on good news learn to take profit okay and if the results of ey very similar to kpng then you see this uh, company likely to take another hit so those are the the variables that i'm looking at but of course we can also look at other sectors in here which we're going to be doing next in here now uh let's look at the us uh, uh market in here continue to do uh very very well over the last uh last friday in here uh closing at the high the dow jones is just short of 34 9 uh, 34 of course many analysts are painting the 44000 level for year end uh, for for the us market which is another halfway there so there is a lot of room for the uh, for the market to swing up for the us market and definitely compared to the klsa market which is down about four percent uh the us market is certainly up much more almost a double digit around if i'm not mistaken about 13 percent and likely to close with a double digit to a double digit around 20 percent that's that's my take over here now the uh nasdaq and s&p finally continue to new hit new high so we want to continue to run on this trend now a lot of uh talks about delta variant coming in and the delta variant has pretty much hit the ASEAN market that we've seen in Indonesia continue to rise. Uh, Philippines has pretty much controlled it. Now the question is also in Malaysia, whether how extensively Delta variants in our community, although the uh, report has been very sketchy, just around uh, 10 or 20, less than 100 in there. But important is to monitor the continued cases uh, that we have during this uh, enhanced MCO in Selangor and as well in KL. So let's uh, touch wood that we don't have the Delta variants in Malaysia and the number will come down and the mark the uh, economy can open sooner rather than later then you'll see this KLC market to take off so a lot of things still depend on how much of the vaccination rollout that, that we've seen so far in here but the Delta variant 
currently are being pricing in the US market, as I said before in here. Uh, the vaccine, which you all see on the news that uh, whether it is uh, uh, AstraZeneca as well as Pfizer, has done uh, very significantly, very effective against the Delta variant in here. Infection will continue to be high even in UK that hit about 50 over thousand in here and US continue to uh, also has another uptake since the uh, uh, 30th of June and right now this uh, last night the or, or right now in US the 4th of July celebration right you can see the fireworks being on in the Lincoln uh, Memorial uh, Square in there and I do think they will especially those people who are vaccinated that's fine but those who are not vaccinated you will see a, a shot up in many of the red state that you see in US which is the uh, those didn't get so vaccinated so if the cases go up but the death will remain low because those who are treated will have some sort of protection against it. So I don't personally think that the Delta variant has much uh, uh, slight or correct that what we saw last year February. And that's one of the concerns by some of many of you had, will the de uh, Delta variant derail the continued bullish trend that we see in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Okay, so uh, let's. So one of the stocks uh, that we want to take a look with the uh, U.S. market that is recovery. Definitely, not many people talk about it. Is the restaurant business in here? So I uh, take a look at the restaurant business on the S and P five hundred. Our two favorite, I think, for many of you and me, are McDonald's and Starbucks. So let's take a look at the U.S. market right now. So switch over to U.S. and P five hundred, and we can check out the uh, uh, not the Pentagon Guider. Uh, look at the S&P 500 here, switching to a wider chart. Okay, let's uh, hit the S&P 500 market today. So you can see S&P 500 market here today, uh, you know, really difference. Uh, again, you know, pointing out the two difference between the KLSC market. You can see KLSC is all sort of in yellow trend zone going down, but this one is a nice uptrend zone. So that's that's where it is. So uh, these stocks, uh, we are looking uh, at least 4,500 in here going for. Of course, there will be minor correction in here. Perhaps that may be seen at a good time to come. Uh, if you look at the uh, closing last, last Friday, it was up. 0.75% in here. Nice bullish uptrend in here. 32 points. Uh, the uh, Apple was up. As I said before, Apple is pretty good. 139, 140. That would likely to be the resistance level and also the release of the new iPhone uh, that you see. So this is pending up. But if you look at the green pentagon, just click on Apple. Following the green pentagon here, uh, you would be... Let me just bring up the green pentagon yep 11 percent in the money since the green pentagon which many of you who came to our master class i was talking about apple already which should be in part of your portfolio in there all right so that's the u.s market but let's turn our attention to uh starbucks okay starbucks s b u x Okay, Starbucks is very nice. I want to show you this chart here because uh, Starbucks currently, I think they did have a split. A long period of congestion, you can see on the left-hand side with a double bottom and the green pentagon is out in here, okay? So green pentagon is out in here. Uh, gonna, likely it's going to retest. As I said before, if the market go beyond the 4,500, Starbucks will definitely do well. Let's look at another one, uh, McDonald's, which are like household name in Malaysia, India, McDonald's and Starbucks. So looking at Starbucks uh, uh, comments and chart, you can see uh, the McDonald's hasn't turned green pentagon yet. It's going to be likely to be this week following the same kind of a trend that you see. You know, Starbucks move up, McDonald's going to move up too. All these are playing into the recovery of the uh, US market. As I said before, if Delta variant will not affect or derail the S&P 500, many of these stocks will continue to go up. And for you getting in, let's take a look at the uh, McDonald's uh, uh, for fundamental play, whether this gives you some sort of, uh, you can see here, uh, it is PE of 30, ROE is not available, dividend of 2%, not as high as the 4% that we see TCS for the Malaysian, which is a small cap stock. Uh, then let's move on to uh, Starbucks SBUX. Okay, Starbucks SBUX. And you can see, uh, let's look at the stock fundamental here. You can see 1 out of 8. Uh, the return on equity is also not available with a dividend of 1.55% in here. 
So again, there you go. So those are the uh, two stocks that I, I kind of like, you know, for the recovery play on the US market here. All right. Now let's move on also to the Singapore market, right? Uh, which will see uh, part of the Smart Roby offering in here. There was a report that was done by Maybank Kiming in Singapore. Talk about Lam Malaysia. Now many of you think about scratching ahead. Who is Lam Malaysia push? Now Lam they're referring to is Lam Research. LCRX, okay. LCRX is listed on New York Stock Exchange. It's one of those shares I got much, much earlier. Have done very well. They have uh, established uh, a factory in Kulim, and this report is all on uh, Lam Research and many of these com companies in here. What they are trying to do is that in Singapore, majority of the cap, heavy market cap are towards financials, towards uh, REITs and industrial that not many of them are actually like the Malaysian on the semiconductor side. So with the big push that they have on LAM research in Kulim, so they are talking about free shares here. Uh, the UMS 558, uh, French Can E28 and Venture VO3, which is really a semiconductor key player in Singapore. So let's switch to the SGX right now. So it's the SGX looking at Smart Roby in here. Again, let's take a look at the STI market here, switching to a wider chart. You can see also Singapore market, very, very similar, also coming down on the yellow trend zone, so red in here. So they are also very similar to Malaysia, looking for way jalan out, all right? Way jalan out. Now we already look at the US market, a pretty good. So Singapore market also talk about technology and really, in Malaysia, I will be talking about technology shares shortly when we talk about the Pentagon Guider trade idea. So in here are those uh, three stocks in here. Let's take a look at the first one, uh, 558. Okay, 558 and you can see 558. Okay, uh, stock comment and stock chart. You can see, wow, this one already started to move up very nicely, right? I think the Inari hasn't moved up yet. And if you do, they are coming down from the low base. Just check out Inari chart on the Smart Roby there, all right? And then the next one is, uh, just skip a quick quick one in here, go to V03, okay? V03 here, which is Venture. Stock chart and comment. And you can see this one also recovering in here. And it's very nice. You can see the chart, a double bottom coming up from a low base. But this one is a bit pricey. Lah. It's 19 sing dollar. So maybe you all won't like it. And uh, let's do the next one is the uh, E28. Okay, E28. Let's go back to E28. Okay, E28 is uh, French can. <coughs> Excuse me. So this one, again, very nice, uh, started to move up and you can see if this is about $1. Huh? So the one that looks like UMS, and again, UMS is one of the traits uh, I have it earlier, and I'm always a big belie believer on the semiconductors in here. So they tend to do much, much better in here. So uh, that's where uh, my position right now on the Singapore SGS market. Again, I will come back and also talk about it on every uh, breakfast show that we have on the Singapore US market. So pretty much our audience in here has a good play regionally and you know how to move your portfolio and you will be starting thinking like an institutional. After a while, you're seeing that, hey, where are all the fishes? And you'll be updated by our breakfast show in the morning. All right, let's move on to our next uh, story that we have for you. Definitely will be our past leaderboard in here that we that we have seen. Uh, since uh, May, we haven't got many major winners, as I said before. Uh, a lot of this really depends on the market that you see uh, here in the stock market. If the market goes down, it's very, very hard to find winners. And, and, and even how good your instrument is, right? As I said before, how good your, your stock pay. If there's no fishes in the pond, very very hard to find winner, okay? So last week, we did talk about Aeon Credit here. Okay, so Aeon Credit, and uh, let's take a look at Aeon Credit. Of course, those of you who are ready, you can you know sort of give me your stocks for me to take a look at it. So Aeon Credit for is was our last week stock pick. So let's look at Aeon Credit, which is listed in Malaysia. So you can see Aeon Credit did turn green pentagon, but the market sell off in here 
and uh, as such of the extension of the lockdown they are not able to open up so they are also impacted in here so you can see once they are impacted in here you can have this market trend down but they haven't broke through the ATR stop yet in here as I said before Aeon will likely to be a long term play so that's only one but this week it's much better let's take a look at what I have for you this week all right and uh, we have two shares for our Pentagon trade idea 3rd of July for episode 88 all right uh, definitely you can go on to s and for uh, the KLSC here and you go on to uh, Robbie chart then you go on to Pentagon guider and you can see this list on top of my head here uh, this whole list and I've selected two shares first one is QES which continue to do very very well uh, in the nice uptrend here you can see uh, after a long period finally turned green Pentagon in here uh, there were some of you quite skeptic why didn't you get in at 75 cents it's because the volume is too climatic and usually you have to pull back so it's also important right if those of you who have learned those what we call advanced trades set in you can definitely get in on the uh, uh, what we call the yellow trend zone just by looking at uh, the trade side because you already know how to monitor how to see where is the best location now if you're not you just wait for the green pentagon to come out and that's why we chose it this morning in here so that's one for so far for the green pentagon to this morning in here right then the next one that we have uh is uh jf tech okay jf tech so jf tech it's a long period of congestion in here it will be very challenging to take out the first resistance that you have here around the 139 140 another one 50 in here okay so if he's able to take out and that's what we saw a long period of congestion and many of you similar to uh the 558 in singapore ums they're all breaking up in here uh i think eventually they will play catch up and uh, if they do then you'll see likely to take out at the 140 and one of the things i really want to share with the audience in here is learn to read the sector and try to compare the different stocks that you have each country and once you do that you become very very uh you know observing the trend observing the current then you will really be really in your fingertips knowing where the uh, the flow of the money i think that's also important uh, going forward in here that will certainly help you how to allocate your funds and to be in touch and you you will do much better even than a lot of the uh, so-called trained uh, fund managers and remember because most of them are just looking at just you know one country you'll be looking at three countries and uh, by year end we add on the hong kong then that's even more vicious for everybody i think that's always been the uh, intention in here is to educate our public in here and use the smart Roby tools to get you uh, really moving forward okay now uh, let's uh, so those are the uh, two stocks that we have and uh, definitely uh, just an update in here so far our, our trades uh, we did uh, cut to our of our trade but we continue to make bit headline about 11.6 percent as i said before for the uh, uh january going back end of june so that on level but so if you do have a very nice second half of the year maybe may just maybe we are lucky to have a 20 percent return for year 21 but right now for the last six months uh, we have 11.6 11.6 compared to klci which is a minus four so uh, my question to you will be is did you do better than the uh, portfolio Pentagon guider and time are running out you still got six more months to uh, ensure that you have a better return uh, or at least a positive return you know, uh, on the year now I do know yes the KLCI is is bad right and then it's minus four percent so double up is minus eight percent for your overall portfolio so the worst case I, I would think maybe minus 10 minus 15 percent for your overall portfolio if you are suffering more than minus 10 percent minus uh, 10 to minus 15 percent for your overall portfolio not single stocks okay then maybe this is something you want to set up uh, some sort of a, a recovery plan some sort of set up a financial uh, trading plan how to make yourself better to improve right no point you know being in this market and seeing your portfolio suffer this is where you need to have help all right so let's move on to uh the sang sign or sang sign video which i always talk about in here uh the perfect kind of conceptual setup it will be something like that on the line change which we saw for jf tech and also avion and hopefully we don't have some sort of pullback coming in here and if you want to learn more definitely these uh the sos sign of strength sign of weakness will be all available in here to teach many of you about the very short tutorial that we have all right uh so uh for this weekend don't forget to join us again uh for 2 to 4 30 10 of july for our part two right on modern growth now last 
Saturday, we talk about part one. Yes, uh, we will be sending out those uh, summary slides to you for those of you who will fill out the, the, the feedback form in here. So that is our part one. Now, this week will be a continuation of our part two. It's of our two-part series uh, on how to select growth stock. Now we'll be focusing on the growth song this weekend in here. So make sure you check us in here or take a look at the pinned comment for our QR code to sign up in there. And do share this with your siblings or your friends and those of you who really want to learn a lot more about the market that we have for you and definitely going to put you in the right frame. Of course, we'll be covering both US market and the Galaxy market to put you in the right perspective mind. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, okay now uh, of course our intake for our August is still ongoing and those of you who are interested do sign up for our masterclass three-day course all right and uh, right now we will be focusing on the Google Play Store and the Apple Play Store uh, 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 feedback those of you who think we've done a pretty good decent job just go over those two stores in and give us a feedback and how we can improve it those are the two QR code in here and of course for our top fans and top sharers in here I would like to look at the stocks that you have for me. So just pencil in there if you have any stocks that you want me to look at. Yes, I think Mr. Young here wanted me to look at solution. No worries. Let's take a look at look at solution here. Okay, solution uh, broke through the ATR stop loss here. So time to exit. Okay, ah, you must out. Okay, and and the whole point of the, the thing is is quite good. If you have a certain stocks, if you broke through the ATR again, depending on your trading plan, okay, what you want to do with it? You want to write uh, the whole notion uh, about the market, right? Remember, I talk about those sectors that are doing well because there will be some sector doing well right now. If you, I even heard about you know people getting into all kinds of problem buying the rubber glove and and over leverage and then getting to lots of this thing. I hope that didn't happen to you in here. But definitely from right now, uh, solution is hitting back around one ten. Uh, even last last Saturday we talked about this same issue in here. The ability to you know read the chart. It's it's there. You know if it's a uh, red trend zone, it broke through. Uh, this ATR stop loss, it's time to exit, exit, exit. All right. So if you're not exiting in here, uh, you just need to find out, you know, why can't I follow my plan? All right. Let's take a look. Next one is uh, MFCB. Okay. MFCB here, uh, again, broke through the uh, trend zone here. Again, whether you're trend, whether you are trading, and there is a stock split. That's right. That's why this morning is a stock split here, uh, MFCB here. Uh, you're not seeing much okay so you can see it broke through the ATR stop loss again uh, I do know take note uh, MFCB is a long-term stocks okay so if a long-term stock what is your plan all right going back now early on we did have this also same thing too going for the uh, server dynamics right if you break through the stop where is eventually you need to exit out what, what are the criteria in there if you are just doing purely trading the ATR stop loss and the trend zone applies very very well all right so having said that, uh, this stock from a trading standpoint, you need to be out uh, for that. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, Great Tech, this is a technology stock. Let's take a look at it. Okay, Great Tech, uh, uh, it's pretty good. Great Tech, blue trend zone. That's all right. Uh, above the ATR stop loss, that's the one you want to have. And similar story to JF Tech too. So once this fella start to run out, the tech stock, this thing is going to move up in here. Okay, uh, any other stocks more? Uh, those of you who are in the uh, comment group you want me to look at, all right? I think I pretty much cover and you know, sort of sharing with you how you can rotate out and rotate in uh, to give you a better uh, exposure into the market. I think that's also important too, all right? To ensure that you know you have all the necessary information to make it in, uh, in here. All right, check out the uh, Singapore market and also the US market. Now do take note, tonight the US market will be closed. All right, and uh, if you have any more uh, shares, just pencil in there. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. For those of you who are first time in here, a lot of our lessons uh, will be shared in our YouTube in here. And uh, also, we are coming to almost to the uh, end of our, uh, coming to uh, the, the second part of the closing of our July campaign. And don't forget to submit your best stock And we do have a few winners already in, in our chat group here. You can see from the top part. And uh, don't forget our Rakutan trade. Sign up with Rakutan trade and uh, you, you get a chance to win a 50 ringgit uh, uh, commission uh, 
special there. All right. And also don't forget to join our Telegram chat room in here. A lot of free stock information. And um, we'll be normally doing a lot of the announcements and a lot of the sharing or trade idea in our chat room. So with that, I hope to see you guys. Uh, don't forget, do register for our part two for our growth investing stocks this coming weekend, 2 to 4.30. And we'll be very busy preparing that to you know, get move you to the second level of our uh, uh, what we call sharing our information and sharing how we look at the matter with the tools that we have. And don't forget to review us, uh, to review us on our Google uh, Play Store in here if you've done a good job in here and we will continue to improve our services and our uh, product to enhance your learning uh, in a very educational way and more enhanced. Thank you, that's all. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.